I'm Ray Malone. I'm Jack Cook. I'm Byron Walker. And we are the Jelly Crew, working on the Electric Acoustic Jelly Muse. It is an interactive sound sculpture featuring a big jellyfish bell with tentacles that you can play with. Um, and you can also pour water on top of the bell to sort of activate a variety of effects. Sound of the jellyfish is um, actually taken from the Rosetta Comet um, sound clips. So when we hit on the comet, um, when the clips are sent back, we basically parse that. Um, and the motive for that was that jellyfish live in the seeds, with water environment, and so much water as, uh, on Earth basically stems from comets. Um, that is a really cool bridge, um, and it sounds really, really pleasing. Um, touching the circles and hearing kind of that. Like, Sure. Um, it's pretty basic like Arduino setup. So the tentacles, um, they alternate between one wire having a voltage pass through it and one wire being connected to a digital input pin so that when someone goes on and strokes a whole row of them, the power ones and the input ones are inevitably touched and complete the circuit. And that sends uh, that bashes to the, uh, to the um, max MSP program we have running to a Mac Mini which is also in the dome. Um, so that's how the tentacles work. And the, um, the dome pretty much works in the same way. Um, so before we cast our second layer of silicon to make the jelly skin, we put some plastic PVC tubes underneath them, which is a channel for the water to run through when you pour water over it. And what happens is the water runs through those tubes and connects a different pair of wires, which again is one power wire and one input wire to an analog pin on the Arduino. And when it completes that, it, it again bashes a signal to the um, to Max MSP, which is running in the afternoon.